Hi there, I'm live. And I'm outside because it is almost summer in Sweden. And as you can see, the little ones are playing. Uh, now I'm just going to try and uh, and uh, put this iPad somewhere so I don't have to hold it. Wouldn't that be nice? But I don't really know where. And I can't really see that shit because I have the sun straight in my eyes. So, uh, if there's anyone out there who can tell me, can you hear me? Because sometimes when I'm holding my iPad it kind of like... Uh, uh, distorts the sound I have noticed uh, I don't know I don't know um, I will try and put it on my knee here there we go so oh hi Mandy nice to see you oh and you can hear me that's perfect uh, well, uh, I just wanted to take a little time and do a little live stream because it's been a while since I did one and uh, I'm really, really tired <laughs> uh, because I was going to tell you a little bit that has been bothering me or, well, this ain't no angry, crazy, yelling rant video, but it is kind of like something that tells a bit about the Swedish... Uh, health care system that we have um, uh, you know I have panic and shit I have so many this Ill illnesses that I can't even put, put a fucking finger on it anymore and uh, I kind of live on social welfare is that what it's called because the laws in Sweden are really screwed up uh, so they forced me to go to a psychiatrist now and then, which makes my life a living hell. And uh, I'm tense as fuck right now, as you might see or hear, because tomorrow I'm going to the mainland. Because they force me to do it, because otherwise I won't get money, and you know, you need money to live. But the thing is, I've felt like this for my uh, since my early twenties, and uh, it ain't gonna go away. <laughs> I know myself by now. I ain't gonna just miraculously wake up one morning and feel like a regular person going to work, you know. And uh, for fuck's sake, I feel bad for an entire week before I have to go to this psychiatrist who sits there. You know, looking at me and asking me a lot of questions that I have answered 1,000 times before. And in the end he's just saying, you know, I think that if you blah, 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 a bunch of fucking mumbo jumbo that what he's given me. And not just he, she, they. Um, I don't really know why I have my illnesses and why I feel so fucking bad. Nobody really knows. My mom has the same problems. My granddad had it. I have talked about this so many times. The people I am friends with on Facebook know me already. Yeah, so I don't have to drag that up again. <laughs> I have to do that tomorrow because I'm getting a new shrink. Another who think he knows everything about me. Mm, yeah. Right. What I did want to tell you about was that I slept really fucking bad tonight. I woke up screaming. I woke up twitching. You see, something that you, I have also addressed in a video before is you cannot see it because most of the time you just see my face on the videos. And during the day it's controllable if I'm not in a very stressful situation because then it just screws up but during the night 
my right side about down here starts to jerk it's like the muscles spasm up and it can be really really bad <laughs> I've had this for kind of like 15 or maybe no more 20 years or something and I have no clue what it is it is kind of like a tick a very aggressive tick but when I feel this bad as I have done a couple of days because I have been stressed about this meeting and uh, my life is very stressful right now with the funeral at sea shit and things that went on last week I have been really really you know and as far as that part I have decided to go on with my life and try to do the best of it but um, yeah, I just wish I could be left alone. I, 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 we have in Sweden, you know, um, something called Fartidspension. It's a kind of like an early retirement thing for people who are sick. And, uh, hey kitty cat! And uh, since we switched government, or rather since the parties in Sweden became... Uh, well, they suck all of them. So when it's time for voting next time, I'm not going to vote at all because they all suck. Nobody really cares about the old or the sick people in this country anymore. You know, we have kind of like... I saw a joke on Facebook last night, <laughs> which was pretty telling about Sweden. They found a mummy in a swamp. And he was like from the Middle Ages, I don't remember, he's called... Boxstens, the Boxsten man, I think. And uh, they put a picture on him, you know, the corpse, the, the skeleton, the mummy thing. And they put, like, made it into a meme which said, uh, Tjena Marie! <laughs> which said, uh, After very close observation, the Social Security have deemed this man <laughs> healthy enough to work. And that is pretty much how it is in Sweden. But uh, since I have been this way since my early 20s, teenage even, and as I said, I'm not going to miraculously just wake up, don't have panic, don't have anxiety, don't have agoraphobia, and damn you, Karen. No, damn you, Rini, you gave me tripophobia too. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to just miraculously wake up and be, be a... Uh-oh, uh-oh. The, the, the little one saw my, one of the cats. <laughs> so I hope for a switching government or something miraculous to happen so I can get my... My, my early retirement because I don't need one I'm too old and I know myself pretty well I don't want to be have to beg for money from the social welfare uh, I think it is my right as a person a citizen of this country who has been ill for a long time to finally get some kind of peace of mind and don't have to be forced to you know visit doctors which doesn't help which just stresses me out even more uh, and as a conclusion to that little rant I'm just going to say this is as good as it gets <laughs> yeah now back to some more not serious matters for the rest of this little live stream yes it is spring in Sweden today no, that was a lie. It is basically summer. I'm going to stand up and... Will the real doop doom please stand up? <laughs> I'm going to pan the... Oh, shit. I almost dropped you there for a little while. I'm going to pan... Hi, Laura. I'm going to pan around here a little bit. And hopefully you get to see some shit. Well... There are trees, and the sky is blue. <laughs> All the leaves are green, <laughs> and the sky is blue. Yeah. 
Duke Doom Castle dreaming on such a winter's day, summer's day, I mean. Yeah, it's a really, really nice day today. But, on the other hand, I don't know if you can see the little ones are playing in the grass over here. It hasn't been raining for like, uh, what is it now? Kind of like... Uh, 14 days or something, even more perhaps. So it is extremely dry. You know, there's a fire curfew in the in this part of the country because you know one misplaced match and uh, we would have to make another wildfire donation <laughs> plan. <laughs> but. Uh, as long as people are careful with fire and stuff like that, I guess it's no problem. Mm. Yeah, Laura, you have actually did see some shit, uh, but I don't think you saw it, saw it, because we need to clean our, our uh, land up and take it away to the, to the big trash station. Because, you know, you collect a lot of things during winter and, you know, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff, you know, old planks and wood and shit. I have an old couch outside my house because I switched to another one this um, year. Uh, this winter, I mean. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to stop this live stream because I need to conserve my internet. Because the social welfare... Dim uh, here comes another rant and perhaps a boring part. The social network, uh, media, the social welfare system, for God's sake. You see, I'm tired. Uh, they demand that you have internet so you can, like, send them the evidence that you paid the bills that you asked money for. And so you can contact them and shit. But they won't pay for the internet. Nope, they won't pay for a computer. So, if a homeless guy on the street gets welfare, how the fuck is he going to keep contact with the uh, authorities? I don't know. I've never been homeless. And I hope by God I don't have never become. Because these people, oh man, they have a hard time. Especially now. Yeah, I won't go into politics, but I think it's the same in the UK and uh, this refugee cries have definitely put things on its head, I can say. And when you're like Sweden and don't want to offend anyone, you know what I mean? They take the money from the sick and the old. But I guess that's the way it's supposed to be, right? Because otherwise we would be inhuman. Sorry. Uh, you know, you see, I can't. I'm a bitter man. I wish I was a better man, but instead I'm a bitter man. And you know why? Because life made me this way. I wasn't, not everyone, uh, no one is born bitter, cynical, and just grumpy. It's life who transforms you into a grumpy old geezer. Unfortunately, if you don't become one, I applaud you, because it ain't easy. All right, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop this live stream now, and I'm going to see if I'm actually going to manage to, like, upload this on YouTube later, because it gets, it gives me a saved video on my camera. Uh, on my memory, so I will see if I may maybe do that. All right, guys, I love you. I actually do, even though I'm a cynical, bitter, old, grumpy fart. I do love the ones that I do love. The rest can go to hell. <laughs> you know. All right. And uh, this also goes out to a friend, Lisa. If you by any chance see this, I don't know how, but. I'm there for you, and I know you have a difficult time. And I love you, pal. Alright, 
See you later, guys and girls. It's so dark, I can't even see where I'm supposed to turn this thing off. Oh, there. Goodbye. <laughs>